Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Um, this is a quick little video message I wanted to put out there. Uh, Kevin called me an activist today, and actually that made me laugh because when I called Kevin, I did it on a hunch. I just did it because I heard Carl Grossman, who's an activist, an anti-nuke activist, he's on the Beyond Nuclear board, um, he was on the Helen, not Helen Caldecott show. He was on, maybe it was Helen Caldecott, or he was on a radio show. And the person asked him, what can people do? And he said, you know what? Do what you can. Everybody has an idea. Just do it. Like you need to just, we need everybody in this one because the nuclear thing is huge. And it's a sleeping giant and we just all need to do what we think we can do and do the best that we can do. And so... I don't know. I just got it in my head that maybe Kevin could come to Eugene and do a little symposium because he seemed to know a lot about all the details of everybody that I was sort of listening to. He explained it at least and made it common sense and spoke, you know, I mean, actually his anger speaks for me. I mean, you guys don't want to hear me start cussing. <laughs> That's not a good sight. Um, the thing is, I just wanted to tell people that I'm actually not an activist. I, I see it as my duty, as my moral obligation to our planet and my children and my grandchildren. And I would suggest to everybody who sees this um, to pass it along and encourage people to do the same because... We don't know what the answer is to nuclear, but we do need to know how to live with it. And the denial of it is exponentially causing more harm. And so we need to just admit we fucked up. We're really sorry. We didn't mean to genocide the fucking Pacific Ocean. We really fucked up. We made the wrong call. We had no idea. But let's put some science into figuring what it's doing to the human gene and how to stop all the species from dying and how to get rid of the GMOs and how to get rid of all that stuff and spend some of the money that was earned while there was a fucking free-for-all the last 150 years on our fucking planet. So, anyways, I'm going to end here. I just wanted to uh, thank Kevin for calling me an activist because that was kind of funny. I, I actually hadn't thought of myself as an activist like then. Now I'm an activist because... I can't stop thinking about it and talking about it and really what I don't, I, I make an effort to do is calm people down about it and give them courage to like face it because we're not going to just knock off and die. We're just talking about quality of life and remembering what the earth used to look like and remembering who we used to be as people and how we used to treat each other. I mean, I think there's been a lot lost in the 15, 20 years of vitriol and political hooey since really the Supreme Court basically gave the media a free-for-all and said they didn't ha actually have to report news. They could do whatever they wanted. Since then, it's just been, let's experiment on the emotions of the human species. It's been ridiculous. And we're seeing the results of it. I says, stop. Psst. Sorry, you guys, that's my cat, Isis. She picked her own name. That's the only name she answered to. So I guess that's her name. Anyways, I'm going to end here. And uh, hopefully some of you on the East Coast or anywhere near there will go to Helen's Symposium with Kevin. I would love to see a group of post-ignorance project people sit together like 40, 50 people or something like that. That would be super awesome. And then get in line and ask questions. Have your questions written down. And, you know, stick to the question. Don't get all emotional until after they fuck up. <laughs> but get the question out anyways. So I'm going to end here. And I keep saying I'm going to end here. And um, I'll talk to you later. Ciao. Sweet dreams.